Ikadang araw mga suki, ngayong araw na ito, tatalakayin natin ang paksa tungkol sa mga dinosaurs. Ayon sa siyensya, milyon-milyon tao na sila dito na mumuhay sa mundo. Totoo nga ba ito or just a scientific theory? Nilikha din ba ng Diyos ang mga dinosaurs? Ang lahat na tanong na yan, sasagutin natin. Just keep on watching. hundred fifty million years ago ayon sa siyensya ang buong mundo ay may iisa lamang na kontinente tinatawag ito ng siyensya na Pangea dito sa Pangea 5 million years later some of the reptiles evolved into dinosaurs and the early dinosaurs this time ay tinatawag na Archosaurus and uh, itong Pangea 95 million years later ay nahati sa dalawang kontinente. At tinawag ito na Laurasia and Gondwana. At dahil sa pagkahati na ito, nagkakaroon din ng uh, climatic change sa dalawang kontinente. And because of that, uh, some of the animals, including dinosaurs, have to struggle in order to survive. And uh, some uh, were able to survive because they, they have their natural adaptation. Naka-adapt sila sa pagbago ng klima nila ng isang lugar. So yung ibang mga dinosaurs ay nagkakaroon ng balahibo. And even, ang iba naman ay nagkaroon ng pakpak. Dalawang klase ng uh, dinosaurs. Ang isa ay tinatawag na Sauriskeia at ang isa naman ay yung Ornithischeia. Yung uh, Sauriskeia, ang halimbawa nito ay yung mga Tyrannosaurus rex. Ito yung may malaking panga, matatalin na uh, ngipin, yung uh, mabangis yung uh, mga itsura at kumakain sila ng laman. Ang isa naman, yung grupo ng uh, dinosaur, yung Ornithischeia. Ang halimbawa nito ay yung Hadrosaurus. Yung maliliit ang kanilang pangato, malalaki yung mga, mga katawan. At uh, maliliit yung kanilang uh, ngipin. Da, da, kumakain lang sila ng mga dahon, mga halaman, at mga, mga fruits. Uh, during the uh, Cretaceous period, that's around 66 million years. Meron kaganapan sa mundo that uh, made the scientists uh, baffled. Uh, nag, uh, Nag-iwan ito ng malalim na katanungan. Bakit nangyari ito? Dahil during that time, yung mga dinosaurs ay uh, namatay. Well, some believe that uh, only 75% died. So, uh, scientists uh, made a theory to explain this uh, phenomenon. And one of those uh, popular theory ay yung uh, asteroid strike. In the uh, Yucatan uh, Peninsula in Mexico, mayroong lugar doon at tinatawag na Sexul. It is in between uh, Mexico and uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, merong malaking crater doon. At tinawag ito ay, uh, ayon sa lugar kung saan ang kita ito. The Chicxulub uh, Crater. Ang diameter nito ay mga 150 kilometers. And uh, they estimated that the uh, asteroid that strike there is around 10 to 15 uh, kilometers in diameter. So, napakalaki yung asteroid yan. And it creates a very big uh, 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 crater. At uh, the, the impact force uh, estimated by sa scientists to be uh, more than a uh, million uh, uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima bomb, atomic bomb. So, napakalakas just a uh, the mere force of the uh, the the wave the tidal wave there 
that everything will be wiped out. So yun ang paniwala ng mga scientists kung bakit uh, uh, biglang uh, namatay yung mga dinosaurs. Tito, totoo nga bang mayroong mga dinosaurs milyong taon ang nakalipas? Oh, magandang tanong yan, Toto. So, uh, a Christian uh, archaeologists and uh, non-Christian archaeologists believe, agree, na talagang may mga dinosaurs based on uh, yung mga discover ng mga fossils, ng mga dinosaurs sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. So, uh, pero yung uh, millions of years uh, kung saan namuhay sila dito sa mundo is uh, questionable. Dahil, uh, uh, well, that is uh, still part of the theory of evolution. Uh, kung saan uh, nila yung base yung, uh, yung timeline ng uh, buhay ng uh, mga hayop. So I don't believe on the millions of years. I do believe na may mga dinosaurs but uh, sa uh, mga thousands of years only. So, paano nalaman ng mga scientists kung ilang taon ng mga fossils? Magandang tanong yan, Tuto. And, uh, well, scientists are calculating the, uh, the age of uh, fossils using this uh, carbon dating technique. They uh, count the, the life of uh, a carbon-14. The half-life of carbon-14 is around 5,730 years. So they calculate that, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, some scientists uh, declare that uh, carbon-14 dating is uh, now uh, unreliable because of the uh, increased uh, uh, emission of carbon from uh, cars, automobiles, machineries that use these uh, fossil fuels. Dito, may mababasa bang salitang dinosaur sa Biblia? Magandang tanong yan. No, no. Yung salitang dinosaur ay uh, naimbento yan taong 1841. Uh, when a uh, Victorian scientist in the name of uh, Sir Richard Owen uh, discovered this uh, uh, unusual na mga fossils mga malaking buto ng mga, mga uh, hayop. And uh, dahil sa pagkamangha niya, he, uh, he uh, made a different uh, classification of this and tinawag niya itong dinosaur or terrible lizard. So, uh, ginamit na yan na salita to describe these uh, fossils and uh, well, some uh, scientists like uh, uh, Dr. Williams uh, correct it to mean uh, awesome or fearfully great. So, uh, meron nga bang uh, dinosaurs sa uh, Biblia? Well, yung uh, gamitin na natin yung King James original, King James version, the old English uh, version of the King James that was uh, published uh, 1611. Uh, so, wala pang uh, word na dinosaur during that time. From 1611 to 1841, it takes around uh, 230 years para mabuo uh, itong uh, word na dinosaur. So, uh, so, talagang walang dinosaur na salita during that time. So, meron nga bang mga dinosaur ayon sa Biblia? So, magandang tanong yan. No, no. So, uh, kung merong dinosaur dito sa Biblia, ang sagot ay ho. Meron. Uh, if you have the Bible, uh, kindly open that in uh, Job chapter 40 verse starting from verse 15 to 19. Okay, basahin ko. I have my English Bible here. Sabi dito, this is about uh, God's uh, challenge to Job. And uh, the one who is speaking here is uh, God himself. Sabi dito, starting in 15, Look now at the behemoth. 
So he's talking, God is talking to a, uh, a uh, kind of uh, animal, no? which is uh, called the behemoth, which I made along with you. Kailan to nangyari? That was in Genesis uh, chapter 1, verse 24. No? He eats like, he eats grass like an ox. Uh, it is a uh, herbivorous uh, behemoth, a uh, plant-eating uh, dinosaur. See, now his strength in his hips and his power in his stomach muscles. He moves his tail like a cedar. He moves his tail like a cedar. Uh, ano bang cedar sa atin dito? Yung pine tree. Yung pine tree doon sa uh, doon sa Badal Bendicto ay Malaki mga puno yan, mahaba at malaki. Lalong-lalo na doon sa bagyo, mas malaki yung mga puno ng pine tree doon. And think about a, uh, yung isang klaseng hayop na may, may ganun kalaking mga buntot. Yeah, yung elepante, may isi yung buntot. Yung uh, hippopotamus, lalong may isi yung buntot. Yung giraffe, ganun din. There is no... Uh, uh, walang hayop na may mahabang buntot malakit malabang buntot maliban sa dinosaur and this and it, ang sinasabi dito na hayop ay ang dinosaur, the behemoth is the dinosaur is a land dinosaur so again I'll uh, read look now at the behemoth which I made along with you he eats grass like an ox See, now his strength in his hips and his power in his stomach muscle. He moves his tail like a cedar. His sinews of his thighs like tightly knit. His bones are like beams of bronze. His ribs like bars of iron. He is the first of the ways of God. Only he who made him can bring near his sword. So that's it. The number one is behemoth. And the other one is in verse 41. The Leviathan. So that dito, basahin ko, can you draw out Leviathan with a hook? So in other words, malaki ito na, na hayop ito ng Leviathan. Or snare his tongue with a line which you lower. Can you put a reed through his nose or pierce his jaw like a hook? Will he make many supplications for you? Will he speak softly to you? Will he make a covenant with you? Will he take him as a servant forever? You play with him as, a, as with a bird, or will, will you leash him for your maidens? Will your companions make a banquet of him? Will they apportion him among the merchants? Can you feel his skin with harpoons? Can you feel his skin with harpoons? So, tinatanong ni Lord si Jokon, kaya ba niya mapierce ang balat ng hayop na ito using harpoons? So, malaki yung harpoon. For his head with fishing spears, lay your hand on him, remember the battle, never do it again. Indeed, any hope of overcoming him is false. Shall one not be overwhelmed by the sight of him? No one is so fierce that he would dare steer him up, who then is able to stand against me. Who has persuaded me that I should pay him? Everything under heaven is mine. I will not conceal his limbs, his mighty power, his graceful proportions, who can remove his outer coat, who can approach him with a double bridle, who can open the doors of his face with his terrible teeth all around. So yung kanyang uh, mga nipin, uh, matatalim. His rows of scales are his pride, shut up tightly as with a seal, one is so near another that no air can come between them. So the yung, uh, outer covering of this uh, animal is uh, very thick. Number 18, his sneezing flash forth light. Pag huminga itong uh, hayop na ito, ay lumalabas ang apoy. And his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning, out of his mouth go burning lights. Sparks of fire shoot out, smoke goes out of his nostrils, as from a boiling pot and burning rushes, his breath kindles coals. So, ano klaseng hayop ito? 
somewhat like a a uh, a sea monster with a uh, sea monster like a sea dinosaur. Huh? So the behemoths and the leviathans were the dinosaurs of the Bible. Hey, Matanda na ako, hindi pa ko nakakita ng dinosaur. Meron nga ba? Ah, so, ang ibig mo sabihin ng Locardo, kung may uh, buhay pang dinosaur ngayon. Well, uh, sagutin ko yan uh, sa next uh, episode. Abangan nyo yan. Okay. It's now uh, unreal. Declared uh, unreal by uh, unreal real real reliable, <laughs> reliable. <laughs>